yesterday they told me my diagnosis. It's a cancer that grows really fast, but we already kind of knew that. So I'm gonna have six treatments of chemo and they're gonna be two weeks apart as far as possible because I'm young and my body should be able to take it. And um, yeah, we're starting today. <laughs> I started riding BMX when I was seven years old as a like school vacation thing you could try for free. And a bunch of years later, my boyfriend Menel took me to a downhill race and uh, I was very scared during practice. I ended up crashing a bunch of times, but still ended up third. So uh, yeah, the rest is history. I just wanted to improve and get better. In 2019, we decided to do a national series to try and catch a national title or a championship title. Jonah estaba fuertísima, estaba ganando todas las carreras a las que se inscribía. My time was good enough for third place in Elite Men, which is a, a thing that I'm really proud of. <laughs> and it was a cool like stepping stone into like, okay, I qualified for the EWS. I was super motivated to, to keep going into a new season and and just being in the best shape ever. In June, I started feeling something weird in my throat, as if like something was stuck. Got a raspy voice. <coughs> it started becoming like a little ball in the... I wasn't really sure what to think of it. It felt weird. So we went straight to an oncologist who sent us to do a biopsy and some scans and some other blood tests. I think a weekend passed and then on Monday we called the doctor and he was like, yeah, it's cancer, he called it non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cancer stage two. It's morning after the first day of the second chemo. Um, and I'm combing through my hair and it's sort of starting to fall out on its own. So, yeah, that's happening now. And gone it was. Bikes for me during this time was uh, an escape. It was like a, a comeback to, to like feeling a little bit more like myself. I don't know, just made it easier to get out and have some fun and feel like myself again now sometimes. Because, I don't know, it's just hard to feel like you're okay, but you're not okay. <laughs> and this bike at least gives me a chance to feel like I'm okay some of the time. If there's something that you do for a long time, there's certain feelings that feel like uh, home. So I got on the bike, the position of, of an actual mountain bike again, like getting up in the saddle, having the open bars, getting the, the fingers on the brakes, all that stuff. It was just kind of a relief feeling. Even on days with chemotherapy, I would go on an easy ride, get some fresh air, get out of my own head and just feel good. But the days that you don't have energy, it is a struggle to remember you'll get through this. There's a, there's a positive at the end of the tunnel, we'll make it.
Don't know if I've actually made an update since my birthday or the day before. I'm not really sure anymore. But um, I'm cancer free. I've been so for a while now, which is good. Yeah, pretty good so far. So, yeah. fortunate to be able to do what I do and I'm super happy for all the people who have continued to support me through all this. They still see the potential in, in what I do and there's no, there's like no limit, like I'm still good, I'm okay. I feel like I'm very lucky and happy to have made the choices that I've made up till now. I still have the opportunity to go do large races and improve and try to be one of the best. That was the goal before I got sick and still the goal now.